Good morning. Today I've got a few quick wheel building tips for dealing with rim washers. They're not used that much anymore, but you still might run into them when you're rebuilding a wheel to reuse a rim. For example, if you wanted to take a 10-speed hub and update it to an 11-speed or 12-speed, you'd want to reuse the rim. And when you take the rim off, you might discover as you work on it that inside they use uh, rim washers. The rim washer uh, distributes the load of the nipple and protects the rim from cracking. Sometimes carbon and aluminum rims crack from the force on the spoke over time and these rim washers help prevent that. The other thing that the rim washer does is it creates a, a protective layer between the aluminum nipple, if you're using aluminum nipples, and carbon rims because aluminum can react with carbon uh, and create corrosion which can cause problems with the, with the wheel. So the rim washers prevent that. And sometimes they put them in. Some carbon rim manufacturers recommend that you use them. And some wheels built on robots, sometimes they use rim washers to protect the rim. They don't weigh very much. And they add, if they add a layer of protection, sometimes you'll find them in there. And if you do on a rim, it's a good idea to use them again when you put it back together again. You don't use the used rim washers again when you rebuild the wheel you would get some new rim washers to put in because the ones that you take out of the rim are usually a little bent, sometimes a little corroded, sometimes they get a little munched, a little mangled. So you don't use the old ones again, just like you wouldn't use the old nipples usually, you get new nipples, new nipples and new nipple washers when you rebuild the rim. But what you have to do is get everything out of the rim to reuse it. And that's what I'm going to show you today is some tips on getting those nipple washers out because they're small. They can get lost inside the rim when you take it apart. And there's no real easy way to get them out. A lot of them are made out of a non-magnetic material. So you can't just stick a magnet in. Uh, Most of what you end up doing is, is shaking them out, which takes a long time if they get lost inside the rim. If, if you don't get them out, they rattle around when you're riding or when you're, you're a cyclist, the person you're building the wheel for is riding around. So they'll drive you crazy if they're in there. Um, so you want to get them out <laughs> and they're pretty small. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I do that when I take the wheel apart. The, the main thing is try to get them out when you take the spokes out. Don't let them drop inside. So I'll just have a couple tips to show you how to do that. I already started taking this wheel apart and I have my tools laid out. There's an awl, or you can use any other pointed tool you have. The spoke wrench and the diagonal cutters, they're right where I need them. I loosened all the spokes first with a spoke wrench. I then put the wheel down flat like this before I started cutting the spokes with the diagonal cutter to take the spokes out. When the spokes are whole, not cut, the washer will be trapped on the spoke and it can't fall off and get inside a rim and get lost. So I cut and remove only one or a few spokes at a time. If you were to cut all the spokes or even half of them at one time, it's likely some spokes would fall out and that would let the washers come off the spokes and get lost. You don't want that to happen. Another tip is to cut the spoke near the middle. That way there's enough spoke to hold on to below the rim. On these first few spokes here you saw, I got lucky because the rim washer came out with the spoke. I just sort of gently wiggled the spoke out and got the washer to come out through the rim hole. But that doesn't always happen. Here's one that's stuck and won't come out of the rim hole. I only use a few tools for getting the washers out as you'll see. Watch what I do. I'll pick up one of the spokes that I already cut. I'll make a little X with the spokes to hold the washer and make sure I have a good handle on it. It can't fall off. And then I can gently hold on to the rim washer with the two spokes like this and I can work it to the hole and get it to come out. On that spoke, the washer was attached to the nipple and the whole thing came out together as one. Here's a different problem. On this one, the washer, because of a tubeless sealant that got inside the rim, the washer is stuck in the hole in the base of the rim. 
So what I do here is I have to get it free and to do that I stick the pointed end of the awl in and I poke around and try to scratch the washer or knock the washer so that it breaks free. It has to be free and unstuck from the inside of the rim in order for me to fish it out with my two spokes technique or to just get it out on its own with the, with the spoke it's already attached to. You might be tempted to pull the spoke out to get easier access to the stuck washer, but that's a mistake because then the washer will be free and it'll fall inside the rim. Keep the spoke in there to prevent that from happening. As I finish removing the spokes here, I'd like to thank you for watching and subscribing and let you know that I've got an entire library now of wheel building videos. Be sure to click the links at the end to keep watching more and let me know if there's another video you'd like to see. Also, if you've worked with lots of wheels built with rim washers, I'd love to hear your great tips for using them, so please share them in a comment. Once you've got all the spokes out and you're sure you got all the washers out too, you're ready to use that used rim over again on the new wheel. If you end up with a washer or two still in the rim, sometimes if you're lucky while lacing, truing, and tensioning the wheel, the washers can fall out on their own. If you don't want to leave it to chance, Shake the rim and try to get the washers to fall out. If they don't, then try to see them inside the rim. If you can see them, you can stick a spoke up through the rim hole and also through the washer's hole as shown to keep it in place. Then use a second spoke like I showed before to get the washers out. That's all the tips for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.